Hello and welcome to Worth a Purchase, where I play a game for a short amount of time to see if I would buy it myself. This time we're taking a look at Spirit Hunter Death Mark 2, releasing on the Nintendo Switch and PS5 today. I know spoilers are big things, especially in this genre, but don't worry, I'm only going to show you very early game footage, everything that happens within the first 40 minutes or so. So it's got a digital release priced at £45, which is quite a lot, but this is Physical Paradise. We only care about physical versions, and yes, down below, links to both the Switch and PS5 physical releases are there if you want to purchase it for yourself and support me at the same time. So Deathmark 2 is actually the third game in the Spirit Hunter series. They're already confusing matters slightly. There was Deathmark 1, then there was NG, both of which are on the Switch, and now Deathmark 2. Here we return to the boots of Kazuo Yashiki. But there's no need to understand too much about his previous exploits, as so far this seems like a contained narrative. You get his basic backstory. He's a private detective who somehow found himself entangled in supernatural bullshittery. Hate it when that happens. He doesn't call himself an expert, but there's probably no one else better suited to driving the mystery machine in this town. You'll get to see some old acquaintances to help you out, but this can be played without too much knowledge of previous events. In Deathmark 2, the premise is a little bit cliche, I have to admit. I'm hopeful it can develop into something a bit more unique later down the line, but so far, it's your classic spooky spirit knocking off students in a school, leaving threatening letters, and being the best Moaning Myrtle tribute act of all time. You are invited by the new headmaster to investigate and put to rest rumours of students dying from murderous spirits. But despite the generic premise, I am 100% on board with this mystery so far. I've loved it. it. It doesn't mess around or it doesn't take forever to get to the good stuff. There's no padding in the dialogue. I like that a lot. And of course, it's a visual novel at heart, but if you're adverse to such things, the developer, Experience, are slowly forming this series into something a bit more broad in terms of appeal because you still have your first-person investigation stuff, your standard visual novel dialogue, but you also have your mild RPG elements like stats. And now in this one, you can add side-on exploration. It may seem superfluous in terms of gameplay, they didn't really need to add it, but it has greater immersion in my opinion. It breaks the game up much better to be a more palatable experience. It adds a new dimension and is very, very approachable to your standard adventure game fans. Don't be put off by the visual novel label, this series is rapidly running away from it. What I've liked so far are the pivotal choices where you're in an emergency situation where you'll have to make the right choice in order to survive. Like, who will perform the action? What will they do? Which tool will they use to do it? I like this idea a lot. I am a bit worried that the success percentage might be needlessly dickish later on because you can lose health or even perhaps change the course of the narrative. Like, if you balls it up, we'll have to see. As I said, the physical release is available on Nintendo Switch and PS5, and I do recommend it, even if you've never played the series before. The gameplay is captivating, the story seems fun, the gruesome and scary visuals are awesome so far, and it seems like the perfect place to jump in. Even if you're not into scary stuff, there is an option to turn off jump scares and gore, which uh, I don't see the point of playing it if you'd want to do that, but it's there. And if you want to purchase a physical copy, check the links down below, that massively helps me out. You get a game, I get a kickback, everyone's a winner. And Spirit Hunter Deathmark 2 seems like a really nice adventure horror game.